So you said there are these terrorist groups in the West Bank, including where you live in Hebron, that are funded by the United States. People in the United States who care about this, what could we do? Uh, are doing great work, but uh, we want to, to focus on the funding and the donation which are going to violent extremist settlers on the ground and one of the uh, organizations, it's a charitable organization, is Hebron Fund in New York. They support the Israeli uh, Kahanists and the Israeli settlers in Hebron to take more houses, to vandalize land and to make our life harder and harder in Hebron. On the other hand, there are many uh, you know, organizations, many individuals, many uh, NGOs in the United States. They illegally support settlements, they illegally support settlers, and they, they donate for them money, they donate for them equipment, drones to film Palestinian houses, then to be demolished after. Uh, for example, Rakavim, one of the main uh, settler uh, organization which is functioning in the official Area C, their main mandate is to remove Palestinian identity from Area C. They mainly funded from the U.S. Uh, money, which is coming coming to them. So going after the money, going after the funding, going after the donation is very important campaign uh, for coping and for our uh, you know brothers and sisters in the United States and all over the world. Any kind of contribution towards settlements now, according to the ICJ ruling, is illegal. So we should start working on legal campaigns to sue any kind of relationship between any politician, any uh, institution, any company with the settlements in the Iqbal territories and go after them legally with campaigns, with activism, with media, with visibility to make it costly for anyone to contribute to support settler terror activities against Palestinians. While our eyes are rightly so on Gaza, things have been getting worse in the West Bank. Yes, Israel is using the time that all the attention of the world is on Gaza, to steal more Palestinian land, to displace the Palestinians, to dehumanize Palestinians, to kill the Palestinians, detain Palestinians, torture Palestinians. I, I was almost killed on October 7th, and I was expelled from my house for almost 16 days, and my life and the people's life in Hebron and all over. Uh, under a, a serious uh, violent uh, attacks from Israeli settlers and from the Israeli army as well. It's the army brutality and the army violence, and you can say that it, it is 10 times more than before.